Hello everyone, I'm Sam Schaefer, owner of Titanium Archery Products. Today we're looking at a PSC XF30 bow that is in our draw board. We also have a camera right here that is going to be zoomed in in a bit on the tap Titan cable slide. So we will be looking at specifically the rollers and the relationship that they have to the cables. And as the draw cycle occurs, what are the cables doing? Now, of course, when they're at a static position like this, they are somewhat angled in relationship to the straight rollers. I think people at times are concerned that this is a problem. Now, ours is not any different than other cable slides on the market in regard to those rollers. The factory model that comes with the PSC Bose also has straight line rollers. Now, there is a bit of a difference, though, in how those, those metal rollers on the factory cable slide how they interact with the cables is a bit different than ours. We have rounded edges. So if you look at our large roller, as you rise up to the edge, out of the valley, out of the channel, the edge is not sharp. On the metal rollers, it is. Also, they're metal. So they certainly have much more ability to cut into cable or cut into serving. This is a palm polyoxymethylene material. It is not the same hardness. So not only, did, not only is it rounded and smooth up at that edge, it's not the same kind of material that has the capability of doing that to your cables. So even though they are slightly angled at static position, you'll see during the close up zoomed in portion of the video, you'll see that they start to straighten out and by the time you reach full draw, essentially the cables are straight within those rollers. So I don't think necessarily we really do need to make adjustments to the angle of the rollers because these function beautifully as is. doesn't mean I'm not constantly looking at all aspects of products and I'm looking at, say, for example, component selection with this product. I'm examining our roller types. I'm examining the type of shoulder screws we use. I mean, every aspect of it, the hole sizes in the frame, the pin sizes. I'm constantly evaluating where can we be better, but I want to show you guys just what it looks like and how well this really does function. So we'll get right to that, I'll get this on, I'll get it zoomed in, and then the rest of the video will be you seeing that draw cycle. The bow is all set up now. I have the camera on the back side of the bow so we can actually see the side that the travel is occurring on with these large rollers. So we'll get started here and take this bow back to full draw. All right, reach full draw, and you can see very clearly that the cables are now almost completely in alignment with the angle of the roller itself. So from the shooting position at full draw, you're starting with essentially a straight alignment. When you come back to that static position, you will see that it does return to that slightly angled location. However, this poses no issue in terms of cable wear, serving wear, due to the design of the rollers we're using here. They are not capable of doing that kind of damage. Now back down to at rest position. And there you have it. So I think that should give you some pretty good insight and a level of confidence in how well this product actually does function.